Are you wanting to add more order types or remove an order type or perhaps offer some changes to your customers? Let's suppose you're doing pickup, but now you want to do curbside pickup. Let's suppose you were doing delivery, but you no longer want to do delivery. Let's suppose you want to add dining or you want to add business delivery or maybe you want to offer drive through pickup. If you want to make any of these changes, I'll show you how to do that in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. So as you know from your order online page, when customers check out, they are given order type options. Order types are the ordering method they use upon checking out. So I can either do delivery or pickup. These two come by default when you first install the app. Okay, so you can actually change these or remove them or add more to it. So what you would do is you go in the back end of your order online page. The back end is here when you go to WP admin or to your WordPress dashboard. Okay, so make sure you're on the correct page. If you don't know how to get back here, um, check your email because the login credentials credentials was emailed to you or you may ask your web developer. So once you come to the back end, what you would do is you press Clover orders, settings, order types. These order types that you see here are from your Clover order types. So you can either enable them or disable them. So dine in, as you can see, it's gray. That means that your in-store customers are using this, but you don't wish to have your online customers use this. So that's, that's why it's not green color. When it's green color, it's visible. Let's suppose you want to offer a new one. You can actually do that. Just go here and type it in. Just say I want to offer curbside pickup. And then what I do here is, is asking me, is there a minimum order amount for this? If there is none, leave it blank. And it's asking me, is this delivery? Yes or no? If you like the customer's address for curbside pickup, then do yes. But if you don't need their address, then do no. So obviously curbside pickup is not a delivery. So we're going to say no. And then you press add. And then you can see if it's taxable or not. Okay. Once you do that, it becomes visible on the front end. Once you create it, make sure it's enabled. Okay. Um, if you decide that you want to change the name of an existing order type, my recommendation is to make a brand new one and delete the old one. So let's suppose you no longer offer delivery and you want to substitute that with drive through pickup. You create it here, press add, and then come here and delete the old one. Okay. And let's suppose you don't see all your order types. You're looking here and you're thinking, wait, I have one more that I created on my Clover POS, but it's not appearing here. I created on my Clover dashboard, but it's not appearing here. If you want it to appear here, then sync it. So press import sync inventory and press update order types. If you press this button, then it, it should appear here after you refresh the page. If it doesn't appear here, that means the Clover POS may not have it there, okay? And let's suppose on your Clover POS, you deleted a bunch of order types um, and you don't want it to show here. OK, go to clean inventory, press next and then press start like this. And then it will check your Clover POS for any deleted uh, order types and remove it from your order online page. And then just press next. You could do the same for all anything else you deleted from your Clover POS. OK, again, I'm going to stick with the order types in this video. Um, but if you need to clean other things, there's additional videos for that. You can click on video tutorials to learn about how to clean your entire inventory or other uh, settings. Uh, one thing I want to remind you guys is not to delete this order type. So if you delete this order type from your Clover POS, customers won't be able to order. So make sure it's both here and on your Clover. So uh, you want to make sure it's on both sides. All right. Um, yeah, that's how you do order types. Feel free to watch the other helpful articles and video tutorials for any further assistance. Thank you so much.